From the Oklahoma Newsroom, this is an OU update. I'm Jenny Carlson here with Brooke Pryor. Brooke, as camp rolls along and the season opener gets closer and closer, a lot of people are wondering what the situation is with the OU running back situation as uh, Sooners try to replace Samaj P. Ryan, Joe Mixon, some guys that really had some big time numbers and production for this team. Where do things stand right now? Do they, you feel like they're close to naming a starter and, and sort of giving us an idea of what the uh, depth chart looks like? You know, Jenny, I think even if OU names a starter for the UTEP game, I don't think that means that that person is going to be the starter for the Ohio State game. Uh, in talking to Jay Boulware yesterday, the running backs coach, it sounds like he wants to see all four healthy guys, that's Trey Sermon, Marcellius Sutton, uh, Rodney Anderson, and Abdul Adams all play in the UTEP game, get them in some more live action uh, scenarios and situations more than what you would normally get in a scrimmage to kind of try to figure out that running back competition ahead of the Ohio State game. Yeah, and they, I mean, these guys are still very inexperienced when it comes to game situations. I mean, Adams played a bit. You had a story about him in the Tuesday Oklahoman. Marcellius Sutton is a junior college transfer. You wrote about him in the Sunday Oklahoman. Uh, and while he's got a wealth of experience at junior college level, has never played D1. And then obviously Rodney Anderson hurt a lot of these last couple years. Trace Summerman, a true freshman. Uh, do they feel like they need to divide up the reps in that UTEP game to see who they could use against Ohio State? Or do you feel like we may see more of a Rodney Anderson, say, because he, ha he is that older guy? You know, I think that they're going to divide up the reps to an extent, but I think that they will try to put Rodney Anderson out there and Abdul Adams out there a lot, at least early on, just to see how they can do, see how Rodney Anderson has progressed. You know, we have heard a lot about how good Rodney Anderson can be now that he can take contact. He was a highly tattered recruit. So on paper, he should be the guy. But you need to see how guys like Marcellia Sutton are adjusting to this uh, the system and Trey Sermon, who's another kind of big-bodied guy, kind of looks like a Joe Mixon type, to see how he can kind of handle being in a college game. Lastly, has, has there been any talk about what would be considered successful for these guys, both as a group, both short-term and long-term? I mean, again, I realize you're replacing you know, two of the best uh, at that position uh, in Oklahoma history when you look at the career numbers or you know some of the averages that, that Piran and Mixon put up. What are they looking for short-term and long-term out of these guys? You know, that's not something that they're telling us right now. That's They're still in that mentality of one game at a time, which I'm sure we will hear over and over and over again this season, as we do every season. But I have to think that they're not going to go out and tell these guys, be Samaj P. Ryan, be Joe Mixon. Uh, I think they were hugely benefited by the returning offensive line. You know, they've joked a lot that anybody could run the ball behind that line. And I think that we really have to see that happen this year for this team to be successful. All right, lots more to come on the Sooners and that running back position. Be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoman.